People keep asking how I harvest the black soldier fly larvae. So I'm gonna show you two different methods. Uh, fair warning, everything about farming black soldier flies is gross, gross, gross. So here we go. All right, so the first option is to set up a pipe where the larvae that are about to turn into adults can climb up and out. So it's a little bit hard to see here because I have things on top of it, but let me do my best to try and show you. I brought a little shovel here and you can see them in there doing their work. They're very active. They're eating right now. So let me get this guy out of the way. And you can kind of see here, I have a PVC pipe that goes down in. It's got lots of holes in it. So what the larvae can do is climb up and when they're ready to turn from larvae into an adult, they climb up the pipe. They want to get out of their food. So they will fall out this pipe here. Now in the past, I haven't really found this to be a super effective way of harvesting them, but I noticed recently that there are some of the uh, full grown larvae that's about to turn into an adult hanging out right under that pipe that I set up. So it seems like the system is working as designed now. So I've set up a bucket underneath to start collecting them. And then all I have to do is pick that up and walk it over to the chickens and feed it to them. Here is one of my other bins that uh, is also very active. You can see them all in there breaking the food down. So the other method is pretty straightforward. Use a shovel or rather, I guess this is a hand trowel. So I am just going to find an area where the food is mostly uh, broken down and just scoop them out. Look at how disgusting that is. Blech. Okay. Anyway, I just scoop them into a bucket. I just scoop out as many as I want. What? <laughs> oh my gosh, it's so gross, you guys. Ew. Harvesting them this way <laughs> is not my preferred way of <laughs> doing it, I'll admit. When it comes to things like this, I'm definitely a girly girl and it grosses me out. There's obviously a lot more larvae in there than I harvested, but anytime I do a video like this, I just don't like to do too much because when I'm dealing with the camera, it, I just drop things more often. <laughs> and this way I'm less likely to drop some really nasty stuff that my dog's gonna try to eat and then make me wanna throw up. So here's what I've got. Um, you can see them moving around. They're definitely alive. There's a little uh, uncomposted banana peel there as well. <laughs> the chickens are gonna love this, it's so gross. We've gotten almost all of them at this point, but <laughs> they're still getting them. Good job, girls. You do good work. <laughs> 